Now for a look at your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. A BMW dealership in Fairfield was damaged by fire this morning. The two alarm fire started just after 9 a.m. Fairfield Fire Department says it started in the shop next to a car with gasoline on the floor. No one was hurt, but one car was damaged. Hospitals across the county are near capacity tonight by patients with RSV, COVID, and the flu. The availability of hospital beds is now at its lowest level since the pandemic began. LA County has only 240 two beds available with a population of 10 million people. So long, California. Voters in San Bernardino County deciding that they don't like the direction that the state is going, so they voted to consider seceding and forming their own state. The California legislature and Congress would both have to approve it, which are highly unlikely. A mountain lion who became a Los Angeles celebrity after living in the shadow of the Holiday Hills for more than a decade died on Saturday. The aging big cat called P-22 had severe health problems and had to be euthanized. California air regulators voted unanimously this week on a plan to drastically cut reliance on fossil fuels. The plan sets to achieve carbon neutrality by 2045. However, critics say it doesn't go far enough to combat climate change. TV personality Sharon Osbourne was hospitalized Friday evening after suffering a medical emergency. The incident happened while she was filming for a TV show in Santa Paula. No word yet on her condition. Four people are in critical condition after a crush in a London in concert by Nigerian Afro breed star Asaki. Police say eight people were taken to the hospital after being caught in a crowd trying to get into the venue. An appeals court rejected efforts to keep in place pandemic related restrictions on immigrants seeking asylum. The court's decision means the restrictions are still on track to expire on December 21st. Ukrainians are coming together to bring some Christmas spirit into the country despite a wave of Russian airstrikes. A 40 foot artificial tree was put up in Kyiv and decorated with lights, the city's mayor calling it the Christmas tree of invincibility. And on this Hanukkah Eve, they're celebrating in a big way in Miami. This is the world's tallest digital menorah lighting up this Florida skyline. During the eight nights of the Jewish Festival of Lights, the Paramount Tower will light up every morning before dawn and from sunset through midnight. And that's a look at your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.